Okay, just to kind of summarize, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. And if we can turn those Benjamins into digit dollars using a geo identity, meaning you have to, in order to participate, you have to be registered with a geographic location of your residence and your home, then it will be easier to regulate. The Federal Reserve needs to get involved quickly with this digit dollar concept because China is coming up very, very fast on this. So if we were to take our military budget, our foreign aid, the border patrol, all that money and put it into digit dollars that could be converted to microloans, keeping people home. These economic migrants need to stay in their home and have a have hope. And the microloans give hope. And we can bring about more global security by doing that type of fan financing. And this, this financing is very much on a neighborhood, city, country, state. Uh, you can create more consumers as you build uh, the economies of these developing countries. And you can have slumlord laws. If you've got proper mapping, you can improve the lives of the tenants. And even in here in the United States, if we had better uh, geo-identity, uh, we could identify neighborhoods in Chicago where there's violence of who lives where, what kids live where, what teenagers live where, where gangsters live. You can identify those individuals once you have the proper geo digital mapping. And then last of all, you want to really establish a secure domicile for those immigrants. This is what they're coming for. They're coming to America and, and Europe trying to find security. And as, as much as we hate nation building, the key is the mapping. If you want to do nation building, you've got to have this geo identity, this uh, digital mapping. You can develop a taxation base, you got public records, you can set legal precedent uh, in these countries. They have no concept of, of that. Uh, you can create liens and liability and capture those individuals that are not doing good <laughs> and causing problems. And basically they stand to lose their property. And everything is done locally. I mean, you have these digital maps and these digital information. People in other countries don't care about that. It's the local people that need to know this information. And so this whole database is controlled and accessed by obviously high security and servers are kept outside the country. Anyway, this is the summary. Thank you so much.